Hey everybody, it's Last Robokai here, and it's time for more Transformers Devastation, more challenge mode, and joining me as always... Yo, it's cool guy, and I'm, I, I, I'm already distracted by what's on the screen. Megatron and Clone Prime, if this hasn't been a, uh... Good lord. If, they, yeah, if no, this no. Hasn't, hasn't been an, uh, been an episode of Transformers, it needs to be. Yeah, so this is, uh, well, I think actually there was an episode where they had um, a remote control clone of, um, of Optimus Prime to try and trick all the Autobots into uh, letting the actual Prime die. Uh, and I think he was controlled by Starscream, and they used the, but they also used the trick where um, they tricked him into thinking that, uh, that the clone one had actually killed Starscream, and that's why they thought it was him. Oh, and then they realized they fucked up. Managed to get Optimus before he was dead. Yeah, I'm a well, lot stronger now. This is when I was like, oh wow, okay, so like this is after I'd beaten the game on Commander and then and everything. All and I was of a like, sudden oh, you had like, decent stats. Oh, I and should everything. probably yeah. Yeah, I was like, I should I should probably uh, raise the difficulty mode a little there. This so is, uh, yes, this is <laughs> yes. your final mistake. Golden Hunter. Oh, prime yeah, by difficulty the way, yeah. now. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only got to commander of that silly. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame you. That's that's okay. Won't, won't mess oh, with I don't. You on I guess I one. I guess I didn't turn the difficulty up just yet. Maybe it's after this one. But I do turn it up. Don't worry, everybody. Like, cause I'm like, this isn't fun. <laughs> yeah, like I'm still optic killing them way too quickly. <laughs> I wonder this episode's only 20 minutes long, but I had like a million fights in it. Oh God. Ow. Yep. Yeah. That <laughs> still... He lives. Look how large my health bar is too! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a little, it's a little bit like, um, it's a little bit li uh, like one of my stories in that it keeps going and going and going. <laughs> this gun I've got. <laughs> that was such yeah. Look, look how little damage they're doing. I've got these like these these cute little guns, and they look like I don't know what they're from, but they're like little little dual linked Uzis. They kind of look like bolters, but they're not. Uh, that's that's way that's way too cool for these clones. Nice dodge. Too bad it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Get demolished. Oh, damn. oh man. So, before this episode started, I was kind of like, remember the Cobots? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the Cobots? I do remember the Cobots. Not terribly fondly, but you know, I, I remember that they were a thing at least. Yeah, like, like Tonka, um, basically, you know, from Tonka trucks and stuff like that. Um, sure. They they licensed a Japanese animation toy toy line called Machine Robo. It's really funny because like like I didn't realize it, but like Machine was Robo this? was like, oh, you know, back when the GoBots came out. Um, okay, I was that's like say, that's where the toy line's like... from. But so Hasbro owns GoBots, right? Now uh -huh. because they acquired Tonka, but they don't own the GoBots <laughs> designs because they own all the lore and everything, and now now the GoBots, which like was kind of like the budget Transformers, um, oh are God. now like an alternate universe version of the Transformers. Yeah, and then, then but they don't look anything. They're not allowed to look anything like. Uh, they're not allowed to look anything like, the, <laughs> like how they looked. What's even funnier is that because uh, because they uh, they got licensed out to a Japanese company. They all uh, they also are a little bit dip, uh, different from the Transformers in that they could ostensibly show up in a Super Robot Wars game. Yeah, yeah, which is exact, which is exactly what Machine Robo did. It was like, uh, <laughs> it, like it's actually Super Robot Wars MX was like there's like a, there's a let's play of it going on. There's something of the forums at the moment, and it's fantastic because the main character is this this uh, he's be, had, see the people. I'm I'm not sure like if the people of um of the of the setting because it's it's they're like completely different non Earth planet. Sure. Uh, I'm not sure if like the characters are like e even the human looking characters are robots or cyborgs or whatever. But the main character is uh, Rom Stoll and he's definitely got some machinery in him because he nearly weighs a ton. Mm -hmm. Um and he uh and his entire thing is is this like appearing in in Super Robot Wars MX he appears at just the right moment and gives this gigantic speech. Uh, like you know, with the sun at his back, so you can't see who he is. He does this like about like six times, and every single time, like the villains are like, "Who are you?" And he goes, "You do not deserve to know my name." 
<laughs> and it's just like it just keeps happening, and it's amazing, and it's probably why like Super Robot Wars <laughs> MX is amazing. Super Robot Wars. Also, you are not giving Blitzwing a break here. No, he doesn't deserve it. I, he even does it to a, to like an angel from Evangelion. Obviously, it doesn't ask him. It doesn't ask him his name, but he's like he gives this big speech about like what it, what it means to like stand up as a as a man for courage and stuff. As Shinji's watching, so there you go. What Shinji's watching? <laughs> oh my god! It's just, yeah, uh, that that that's all. That's even better from, than you know what I initially what I initially suspected <laughs> when you start when you started talking about it. Because I, I was just like, oh, okay, we're talking about um, we're ta uh, talking about it, just like lecturing the the angel itself, <laughs> and the angel is just looking at it like, huh? No, he's he's basically it's it, you know I can't remember its name, but it's the one that basically almost gets into uh, into like nerve headquarters and murders everybody, and yeah, uh, and it's been way and too damn long since I've seen Evangelion to remember that one. Well, uh, uh, but basically, like no, like. He, the, the angel just chews through everybody else, and like the only person who can, st who like even slows it down is Romstol in that game. But even he can't do it. It's up to Shinji. But it's just, <laughs> it's still amazing how he just appears out of fucking nowhere in like the middle of bloody, like, the the under underground base of Nerve and stuff, just like in his ridiculous giant robot body. Because because he basically he wears a robot like he wears a, like a robot suit like a power armor and then mm -hmm. on top of that he wears another one on top of that. So Robstall is amazing, by the way. Yeah, like, how many layers of power armor is this? That how many layers of robot? Understand. Oh All my god! Layers of robot. I, I do I do appreciate that that there there's like. They they have a they have a character whose entire reason for existing is to just spit out cowboy speeches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, he's a martial artist too, so it's like a, it's like a kung fu story. His master gets killed and everything as well, and oh uh, like his he, his buddies who are like actually look like robots are all trained in the martial arts too. So you've got like a, a transformer jet that uh, that knows martial arts. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> It's just even the robots yeah. were fast as like It's just yeah. So I just, I just wanted to talk about that because I actually like only oh, made the connection man. today that like GoBots were Machine Robo and that Machine Robo is and like I knew Machine Robo was awesome thanks to the the MX uh, Let's Play. I don't know if uh, Machine Robo has appeared in any other Super Robot Wars. It definitely won't be in V, which is uh, which is still going to be an amazing game. I hope. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really glad that you're that you know all all the things there are to know about uh, about <laughs> the Super yeah, well, Robot Wars games because I cannot keep up. Holy crap, I've tried. Oh look, man, like it's it is my it is my hope to do Super Robot Wars V if it's good, and uh, I can't see a reason why it wouldn't be good because it's just yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be the first Super Robot Wars that's been. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. It's gonna be the first Super <laughs> Robot Wars that's been uh, like that's got licensed series in it that's gonna be translated into English. Um, so I'm Absolutely definitely gonna glorious. be on board to trying to do that. If I can't do that, then there'll be a Chroma Squad, because uh, because I just need to do a turn-based RPG. Yeah, dude, Cro a Chroma S Chroma Squad was so good. Toyed about I toyed with do uh, doing it myself for a little while, then I got busy with a million other things as I do. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the I will I will say I felt really proud of myself for being able to keep uh, keep up on all of the references in the OG continuity. You know, I mean, <laughs> there's just like there's so there's so many references and so much love thrown out to all of the Super Robot Wars stuff, uh, or all of the other Super Super Robot Wars like IPs and everything. Even though mm. it's really just you know a, the original generations, the pilots still all, all rule a lot a lot more in OG too. That's my hot take. Well, well, you know that there isn't there. They they do have a sort of a pseudo Romstall character in the OG universe, although he's not a cyborg. It's uh, it's <laughs> Sanga Sumbolt, who, yep. uh, who who very loudly d tells his opponent to shut up, <laughs> and that he's the sword that cleaves evil. Basically, one and... of my favorite characters. I freaking <laughs> love Sanger. He has I mean, a it's... he has a giant robot that none of its functions work correctly because um because they're. <laughs> Because they were broken, they weren't properly like implemented when they started, um, and they didn't have time to fix them up. And he, uh, and so he just uses a giant katana that can transform into a spy hander. 
because mm-hmm. it uses uh, transforming liquid metal, and it's basically all of his attacks are that, including a ranged attack where he turns it into a giant boomerang-style sword that I can't remember the name of and just throws it. And it's it's like it's like completely <laughs> canon that um, yes. even though even though those fun- uh, those functions work like absolute dog crap, and Sanger is basically the o- uh, the only one who can pull them off. Because he was one of like the original mecha pi- uh, pilots that yes. <laughs> that pioneered all of all of like the motion data that makes the rest mm-hmm. of the rest of the the super robots in in the game actually function. Yeah, one of the aggressors, as they called, and yep. it's like it, it it was the it's the interesting point. Like you know, it's like okay, these people know how to use these machines that uh, that move like people, but somebody had to sort of you know like control those manually so they could get data for them. And, mm-hmm. like, in the Gundam universe, um, they have a similar problem that they had to work on, and uh, I'm not sure how they solved that, um, but I know that a lot of the uh, the data used for uh, for all the Federation stuff comes from, actually, uh, Amuro Ray's battle computer, yeah. uh, when he pilots the original Gundam, and that's why the uh, that's why the GMs, as they're called, uh, basically just destroy the hell out of everything, because they're, you know, they're... they're they're basically uh, programmed after the movements of a guy who could see you coming before you were coming. Half the yeah, time. he he knew exactly what you were doing before you did. I always re- uh, really love, uh, really, I found I basically saw a lot of um, Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson in that uh, in that because like an, a big plot point in that game is you know basically hackers be uh, hackers doing what they do because uh, because they work on you know, lower level, closer to binary computer what, or whatever, and they make a big deal out of, um, out of, uh, people, <clears throat> out of people, you, uh, like, hacking the language centers of, of your brain to make, uh, to make you behave in certain ways, because that's, like, the code that the human computer runs on is language. It's just, it's just like, huh, so you're, what you're saying <laughs> is that, Sanger and the rest of the rest of, of the aggressors are just like the uh, the ultimate hackers, and they're uh, they're they're ridiculous they're ridiculously passionate about like literally everything they do. I'm okay with this. Let's have more of yeah. this. Yeah. Nice finish. <laughs> oh wait, no, Thundercracker got away. Follows sort of. Not for long. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. The sniper rifle I've got is ridiculously powerful. <laughs> It's like not even a joke. Oh man! Get them both in the in the the, fr- uh, the freaking the freaking corner like that. That was gorgeous. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to just like do as many different weird stuff as possible because um, you know I'm I'm pretty powerful and pretty strong here, so I might as well just goof around. I, I yeah I do I do also appreciate how you're basically daring the explosions out out of them simply so you can dodge through them. You're trolling the explosions. It, keep in mind, this is pretty also pretty much shortly after I beat the game on Ultra Magnus difficulty. So <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm in, a, in I'm in the zone at this point. Um, You're it's at kind the top of, a bit... of your game. <laughs> yeah, feels good. <laughs> <laughs> the wheelie, and the semi truck doing a wheelie. Oh my god. I, I know I've se- I know we've seen that a couple of times in the Let's Play, but that's been the first time where uh, where where it's been like you know slowed down for me so i can truly appreciate it <laughs> yeah, just oh, get wait going. no get fucked blizzwing yeah, it was more like just get fucked all of the uh all of the guys that were in the way also got a pretty powerful grenade launcher i think oh and these these one these one on one on one fights get pretty intricate at higher difficulties. Yeah, and then also like you know Blitzwing Blitzwing is just fun. He fights and he's good and he's got lots of really good. Yeah, I think that's like a cluster bomb thing I'm firing there because yeah, I think like I think I think there stuff. there's a very good reason why Blitzwing seems to show uh, show up most often in these challenges, even more often than Megatron and Starscream, because he's just. <laughs> He's so fun to watch in motion. Oh yeah, he's he's he is a good fight. Yeah, so so this is like you can see we're sort of starting getting to the territory now where we'll, we'll fight a boss, and then we'll get a wave of dudes, then we'll fight a boss, then we'll get a wave of dudes. Boss so that's dudes, a boss. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing a bit less of the the intricate crazy stuff now. Like like that last episode, I think was most of, if not all, of like the real like. The only the only thing left is the uh, as the one I've dubbed the choose your own adventure challenge I think. 
I'll probably be found wrong, and there'll probably be something else, but I, I feel like that's something I have to do every uh, every episode, is get something completely wrong. Yeah, well, if if, if one of, if one of us were, uh, wasn't messing things up constantly, it wouldn't be us. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, I fall on my head a lot as a child, so it's uh, it gets it gets hard to remember things correctly sometimes. I just, I, I just <laughs> never got very good at remembering things, period. <laughs> even when I, even when I, I wish like, I was joking about that, but <laughs> I just... I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not joking <sighs> about it either, like, hell. One, one, of the, one of the most frustrating things my mom and dad had to deal with when I was a little kid was, you know, I would, I would keep getting, like, zeros on my, uh, on my homework at school, not because I wouldn't do it, you know, I mean, they, they would like literally see me do the doing it right uh, right after right after dinner at the dinner table or whatever. I would totally do my homework. I would then forget where the fuck I put it like an hour later, fail to turn, <laughs> to turn it in, <laughs> so I get a zero because they didn't accept late work. <laughs> oh, that's a really unfortunate. But at least you were learning. <laughs> Even if you weren't getting marked for it, at least you were learning. I, I I was I was put, uh, putting in the hours. I was doing doing what I needed to do. Not that I could actually prove it, which is you know half of the point of school. <laughs> Yo, wait, you ain't got nothing to prove. Fuck it. Fuck school. Fuck teachers. They want to. They want you to hand in stuff. Let us see their work. We don't need no no no. <laughs> I'm not going back there. <laughs> Wonder if there's a transformer who just transforms into a wall. Yo. Um... I mean, aside from Metroplex. Yeah, I was, <laughs> Transforming into a series of walls. Yeah, I, that, that's what I was go, uh, was going to bring up, and I was also trying uh, trying to be cle uh, be a little bit more clever with you know transformers <laughs> who would have been better served <laughs> turning into a wall. Because like, I mean, there've been light posts and phone booths. Well, I mean, and cassette like, players. Even even <laughs> those, even those were more were more useful than a wall in many circumstances. Then you have people like Sea Spray, who would have been way better off just turning into a wall and never moving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he 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 fell in love with the mermaid once. <laughs> yes, he was. Still, it's point. really funny actually, because like that, he was the first Transformers toy I ever got. My brother got Beachcomber, and then like watch the episodes that they're in, you're like, wow, we got the two biggest idiots. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Like sea spray falls for a mermaid. Beach comes in that episode where uh, where they fi where he finds a grotto that makes you invincible, and of course ends up like you know just showing the Decepticons where it is, which d does lead to the greatest sequence ever, where the Decepticons are all like, "Ha we're invincible!" So they just start shooting one another <laughs> and laughing. And still, like one of my fa like if you've you 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 generally will have seen it like if you if you've like followed any Transformers stuff because. It will be uh, it will be a bunch of just sort of gold Decepticons firing purple lasers like it's a rave disco. And on, honest, honestly, that was <laughs> that scene was the first thing I, I thought of um, w uh, when, like, many many years later, I saw the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, and there there's that entire scene where um, the pirates are are wondering if um, frickin' Kira Knightley's blood has worked to uh, to to lift their curse. And so Captain Barbosa ju uh, just uh, just pulls out a pistol and blasts somebody, and he doesn't die. <laughs> He's just like, I'm not dead. He shot me. <laughs> so what did you expect, pirates, man? <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, wow. <laughs> Sometimes there are certain certain things in the Transformers that truly never die. Though I'm sure it, I'm sure it was done before the Transformers, but I don't care. It's theirs, damn it. Being of never die, I will never stop getting slapped by Shockwave's energy beams. Yeah, no, ser seriously, Shockwave, Shockwave is like he's, not the he's most my, he's fun, my but nemesis. he's the biggest douche. He is, he is my, uh, he is my nemesis in this game. Oh, oh, man. Just this gives me flashbacks to fighting uh, to Ultra Magnus mode, fighting that Devastator and Menasaur at the same time. I don't know, just still I just like. Ugh. I imagine those are those are very those are very difficult memories to handle. It was just intense. Like I felt I felt like a million dollars when I finished it, but jeez, wow. Well. Menasaur, you might want to do something. You're kind of getting clowned <laughs> on here, homie. He's yeah, he's just sort of swinging his sword around. Like a you, lot. Not even okay. That one at least got close to you. It's just like it. On, it honestly just uh, re makes me think of the uh, of the taunt fights in like Monkey Island. 
He's like, soon you'll be wearing my sword like shish kebab. And Optimus is just like, well, stop waving it around like a feather duster. <laughs> so that's uh, that's it for the challenges for this episode. Um, th got through that nice and quickly, talking about things that were vaguely related to Transformers. So until we, the next time, which is topic. a big video, I've been the last Robokai. I've been Cool Guy. We'll see y'all next time.